Hi everyone, so hopefully the background is a little bit better, the lighting in here. Um, before when I didn't have a background up, my rolls are red right here, so the red bouncing off the mirror that's in front of me made me look so orange, and I didn't want to do that anymore, so I put a background up, and hopefully the lighting is a little bit more normal, um, because I don't want to get a new camera, and I didn't think it was my camera that was doing it. I think it really was the reflection of the walls, so let me know if I look less orange in here. I am filming on my camera, so the quality should be a little bit better. Um, but down in the bar, you have an option to change the quality, and if you change it to like the highest one, then you'll see this in like the nicest quality. If not, um, YouTube keeps it at like their standard quality, so you might be like, what? It's not any better. Um, so real quickly, I want to tell you guys some things. Um, this is, I guess, a haul video. Haven't done one in a little while, I feel like. I feel like I've done like mostly... Halloween videos, but I know not everyone celebrates Halloween, not everyone wants to do Halloween stuff, and um, just some people would rather see hauls. I actually got quite a few things last month. This is all over last month. It's not all like one day, but um, I guess it was last month's haul. I might do these monthly hauls. I think they're good because then I won't have like so many little hauls. It'll be one big haul. Um, let me know which one you like though. I personally would like one big one, but I mean, I'll do whatever you guys would rather have. Um, the first thing I'm just going to do, like, makeup stuff real quickly. I didn't really get that many makeup products last month. Um, but this is the L'Oreal Paris Sublime Bronze One Day Tinted Gel. This is amazing. Like, I am obsessed with this. Okay, what it is, is it say, um... It says it's not a self-tanner, but it's more of like a liquid bronzer because it gives you like the immediate color and it washes off in the shower the next day. So like you're not going to be like, your skin won't be like stained that color. It also gives you, it says it gives you a really natural caramel color and I think it does. It's so nice. Um, you probably won't be able to tell on here, but I did use it and um, yeah, I like the way it turns out. It's so nice. And the smell, it doesn't have a smell at all. It's a little bit of like a shimmer to it. So it makes you look really like glowy and pretty. And I just, I really, really love this. And it's kind of my favorite self tanner right now. So if you're looking for one, I would definitely recommend this because um, you can't really mess up because it washes off so easily. And um, it's just really great. And it doesn't turn you orange either. So I wanted you guys to see that like I'm not orange. It was really the walls. Um, but I have been using that and I really, really like it. And the next thing is actually a gift that I was sent. Um, my birthday was, whoa, last month. And um, Alexa on here, Smoky Pink Leopard, she is so sweet. And she sent me this Too Faced Fun in the Dark. And it's their Light Up Makeup Mirror Palette. She said it was too dark for her skin tone. She has, um, she has dark hair, but she's real fair. And so she said that she thought the colors would work better on my coloring and stuff. And I thought that was so, so sweet of her. And um, this is what it looks like. This is actually really cool. This lights up. Um, when it's dark, it obviously makes a bigger difference. Um, but this first color right here is Pin Up. And it's a really pretty kind of um, really pigmented white. And then Peep Show, which is kind of a pinker color. And Wolf Frontal, which is like a really pretty brown with like um, kind of like a reddish undertone. And then Lucky Charms is like a really gorgeous green. I think I might use this one soon. And then um, there's Papa Don't Peach. And that's like a peachy blush. And then this is Sun Bunny. And it is their bronzer. And I think it's like their highlighter duo. And then two lip colors. And this one is Tropical Pink. And this one is Free Love. So I thought that was so sweet of her. And I just wanted to mention that real quickly. Um, and thank you so much, Alexa, for that. And now I'm going to go ahead and just get on into the clothing haul. First, I want to start off with shoes real quickly. If you've watched me for a while, you've probably known that my ASOS black wedges are like my favorite shoe of all time. Like I wear these so much. I wear them to death. Um, I have a pair in red, but the black ones I just wear, I wear these like all the time. They go with everything. They're so comfortable. It's beginning to become like more fall time. I mean, I still can get away with wearing sandaled shoes. I still wouldn't break out boots yet, but I definitely did need a new, like a shoe that I can wear that isn't a boot, but isn't a sandal. So these are the ones I got. These are the Tory Burch, and I don't know what the name of these are, but they look like the Tory Burch flats, but they actually have a wedge, which is so nice because I'm kind of in the stage where I don't want to wear anything unless it has a wedge to it. Um, because I like being taller, it makes you look skinnier, it makes you look just longer I don't know I like having a little bit of a heel and even though it's a tiny wedge 
that little bit like really just makes me feel a lot better. Pair of Tory Burch flats, but I'm gonna give those to my sister because she actually wears the same size shoe as me, um, and she's in eighth grade. So I'm gonna give her those, and I'm gonna use these because um, these are definitely more of my taste and more for my liking for sure so these are beautiful I really recommend um, looking into these for Christmas or something if you are a fan of Tory Burch and I would definitely recommend going with the one that has a heel because I feel like these are way more comfortable as well I feel like when I had the flats they were really not very comfortable and I feel like those are so comfortable so I don't know kind of just something to think about Okay, I also have a few Forever 21 items that I want to show you real quickly. Um, the sweater that I'm actually wearing is actually also from Forever 21. It's kind of like this baggy um, knitted sweater. It has a little bit of like shimmery stuff. And this necklace is also from Forever 21. Really, really cute. Um, this is kind of, it's so cute. I would wear this with like skinny jeans and like some little, maybe even these. And I just, I love this shirt. It's really cute and um, it doesn't feel cheap at all. It feels really nice and it's just cute. But anyways, this is one of the tops I got from Forever 21, and it looks like this. And it kind of, I don't know if you remember, but about like two or three years ago, kind of that like camisole, um, lingerie kind of shirts were really in. And this one kind of looks like that, but um, I'm obviously, I'm going to wear it with a little cardigan over it so it's not so sexy looking. Um, but it's really, really pretty, and I love when Forever 21 does kind of this like, silkier material, um, more so than cotton. I'd rather buy that. This one was $15 and it's just, it's really pretty. And I really love the color. This color is kind of like a grayish gunmetal color and I've been liking wearing those kind of colors on my eyes so I thought this was a really cute top and it was cheap as well. And I really like the lace detailing. Anything that has lace detailing really like catches me and I just absolutely love it. This next thing I'm really, really excited about, um, once winter and fall rolls around, I like to wear sweater dresses a lot, and I wear them with like pattern tights and stuff. So I like to stack up on a lot of like cheap sweater dresses because I really wear like one like almost every day. So um, you know, I feel fine not spending a lot on them because I like I like just kind of the cotton knit ones and nothing real special, I guess. Because I like to accessorize, wear fancier shoes, um, fancier you know leg accessories, tights, whatever. And so the sweater dress can just be something that's comfortable, cotton, and um, just a lot of ones in different colors. So this one is from Forever 21, and this is $17.80, and it looks like this, and it's a winter white, which I love, and the sleeves are so cute. They get tight right here, and then they kind of poof up right here, and um, it's just like a white little dress. The material of this is really, really nice. It's really, really soft, kind of knitted cotton, I guess. It's thick enough so it doesn't like cling, like it's not that like cheapy stuff that like clings really, I don't know, that clings really weird, um, kind of like a jersey. It's more of like a knit, so it's going to lay really nicely and it feels a lot nicer as well. And then, then it's kind of like ribbed up here and up here. And it's just a really nice, like simple thing to have for fall and winter. The next thing I got from Forever 21 are these. I'm so excited about these. These are like knee-high socks, and they have um, this little pattern on them, and then they have little lace at the top. These are so adorable, and I'll show you how I'd wear these. Um, these are a pair of my Colin Stewart riding boots, so which I love so much. Um, these are my older pair. I do have a newer pair because these ones are pretty beat up, but I'm going to show you just with these. Um, and what you would do is I would take the sock like this and um, let's see how I can show you guys this okay so basically you'd be wearing the boots and then you'd also be wearing the sock so like it would show just like the little lace the little lace would show up out of the boots and it's so cute I saw um, Kali Christman actually wear that in one of her videos and I thought it was like so adorable so I was definitely on the hunt for like some cream or white little lacy um, knee knee socks and I found those at Forever 21 and I also found this pair if you don't like the lace you want something a little bit more um, understated these ones are also a nice alternative these are also a Forever 21 these are over the knee socks and they're kind of just like a tan color it still gives the same effect having like a light colored sock with a dark boot but they aren't like the frilly lacy ones Okay, the next two things I got. This dress is from Lulu's. So adorable. 
Um, and it's black and it has like kind of this underwire look to it. And it's like a real silky material and it has this. Um, and it's so cute and it has a zipper down the back. And it's actually from um, Billabong and they actually create some cute clothing. I don't really need another black dress but I thought this one was so pretty with like the silk and like the... Um, the different kind of detailing on it so I really like that and that'll get a lot of use a black dress and this probably will cause some outrage but it is not real fur and it's it's really beautiful um, this is from Volcom and it's actually a little faux fur little jacket and the inside is done in this like um, chocolatey brown silk and it's so so cute it looks like this on. It looks really like vintage, um, sort of the 80s or 90s, but it's so cute and expensive because it's really nicely made, but it's just really, really cute. And okay, we're almost done, you guys, I promise. Um, the last couple things I want to show you real quickly. This was from Ralph Lauren, and I got this super discounted. I think normally these are like 180. I think I got it for like 60. Um, it's a bright orange, and it has the little Ralph Lauren. Uh, symbol right there. It's one of their like knitted cashmere um, v-neck little uh, sweaters. So pretty. I would definitely check Ralph Lauren online because they have a lot of good deals. I actually bought Justin like five different of their t-shirts and like their long sleeve shirts um, and they were like super discounted. Normally I think they were like 50 and I got them each for like $14 so it was crazy. And then this is actually something that I just had to get. This was originally I think this is like originally like 208 and I got it for 50 and it is a um, white and this is a women's um, Ralph Lauren and it's like they're one of their nicer blends of their polos and it's actually a large because this was the only one they had but it hits probably like a little bit above the knee so I'm going to be wearing this with some black tights and some Stuart riding boots and I think I might also belt it and that is like the cutest kind of shirt dress look I really love that and I think that's a great way to do it Okay, so one of the last things I want to talk about are jeans real quickly. Um, I know a lot of you are not into designer jeans, but I know some of you are. Ones that have white stitching, I just kind of never really wore those as much. But these ones I got, and they are the dark denim, and they have um, just really understated stitching, little pockets. I really, really like these, and I almost like these better than my 7s right now, because my 7s will stretch out throughout the day, and I like my jeans to stay tight during the day, and my 7s will stretch out, like, they'll stretch out so much during the day, and I felt like these stay really nice and tight, and they don't stretch out, so I don't know, I just want to hear, like, if you wear Trilogens, if you prefer them over 7s, because they don't stretch out, I don't know, something to think about. And the last thing is, um, my favorite purse ever is from Forever 21. So many of you asked. It looks like this. It's big brown. Um, it's really nice soft even though it's fake leather. And then it has like these little studs. It's so cute, okay? Um, the zipper broke off, but I've had this for like two years, so it was about time to go. I'm kind of looking at getting um, like a nice designer one because I feel like I'm old enough to where I can handle a nice purse. So I'm going to ask for one for Christmas. So let me know what purse you would recommend me to get. And that's, that's about it. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed my quick little haul. I am so happy that I'm, um, I don't know, I'm so happy. I'm so happy to be making videos again. I kind of like took a little break, but I'm back and I'm excited. And I like my setup. I like my camera now. We're going good. Um, I have an Ace Host haul coming up soon. And I think another Forever 21 haul soon. So stay tuned for that. I love you guys. Thanks for watching and have a great day.